2020. Are you prepared to delve deeper into the world of Tesla stock split? Two years after Tesla shares split five for one at a price of $2,000. Two years later in 2022, it split three for one at a price of $900 per share. However, what if I told you like Morpheus in the matrix that the next stock split might occur as soon as 2024? What if I told you that using knowledge of stock splits, there might be a method to strategically buy shares in order to cash out. We'll delve into the world of Tesla stock splits in this video, covering everything from the company's preference to avoid four digit stock prices to their target price range after the split, if that's not enough. We'll also look at projections for Tesla's production and delivery statistics in 2020. But before we get there, hit the like button and subscribe. Yes, this sounds too good to be true. The uh, Tesla stock split five for one at a price of $2,000 per share. And as we previously mentioned, two years later in August of 2022, the stock split three for one at a price of $900 per share. Uh, what if I told you that the next stock split would occur in less than a year? I know it sounds absurd. And I don't think many of you would believe me before we get into estimates and numbers. Uh, I wanted to share with you some insights I found out about how Tesla handles stock splits. When the company split its shares the first time, the price per share was $2,000. The second time, the price was almost exactly $1,000, indicating that the company is saying, yes, we don't want to see Tesla stock in the four digits. This is consistent with their previous preferences for stock prices. So why would any corporate holding any shares want the price of their stock to be in the four digits? Although I believe it's excellent that Google and Amazon divided their stock 20 for one. I still think it's ridiculous to have shares worth thousands of dollars. Instead, I expect Tesla's next stock split will be in the high hundreds. We'll never know for sure, but I'm betting on 800 a share. In addition, I've discovered that Tesla doesn't want the price of its shares to go below 200 following a stock split. The fact that the bottom end of its range is approximately 300 makes it a fascinating fact to take into consideration around in this video. We'll look at these laws in more specifics 14 million new cars I are predicted to be on the road by 2030. Uh, according to preliminary projections, we don't have FSD subscription numbers, so we don't know how many customers pay for it each month. However, we're going to assume that 15 of all newly sold vehicles will convert to or pay the full $15,000 or whatever amount of Fs will be. Let's start with a prediction of $45 as an EPs for 2030. I know it's meant to be 20 million and I agree that it will be, but I don't think it will happen by 2030, probably 2032 or 33, just to be safe. Some may view it as bullish, but I don't think that's justified. I believe uh, that Tesla's performance will shock us as early as this year. It will be completely insane. So whenever you guys are ready, let's figure out what the stock prices would be and when they'll split. We know the answer for 2022 is 50 pay side or nearly $201 per share, but the P for 2023 is currently at 60. We're still in a bear market, so a P of 60 is pretty darn impressive. For 2020 and 2023, I'm gonna predict a P of 60 as well because chances are we'll be in a bull market by the end of the year or at least halfway through. I hope that by then, inflation will have decreased, interest rates will have gradually paused or perhaps even lowered since the Fed always makes these kinds of pivots and you know that the Fed will be the catalyst for the next bull market a year from now, or in other words, a 12 month target, according to Gary Black, a stock price of $370 per share would indicate an astounding P of 74, which is absolutely absurd and would value the company at 1.2 trillion. I believe that AP of 50 would correspond to a stock price of about 400. Okay. But if we're in a bull market, the market could become irrational as we saw during the bear market. For example, stocks like Tesla, Meta, and Netflix have dropped by 80. Given that these companies are money printing machines, why must their stocks fall by 80? A fear. Not any math or forecast is the basis for any of this. For anyone who's selling out of fear, so in a bull market, you buy, I buy, he sells, and so on, rising in the event of a stock split. Since companies such as Tesla usually trade in the low hundreds or low 200s, it is easy to predict that the Stock price of the company will increase by a factor of four. Now, if you want to write this bull market off, the price per share will probably be lowered in 2025 to about 818 or 70 pesos. Additionally, following a stock split in 2026, 
the price per share could, just to be cautious, drop to $960 or $240 on a four for one basis. Lastly, in 2027, the price per share could drop to $250 or $273 on a 35 for one basis. Personally, I don't think Tesla stock will be in the 30s unless there is another big crash like the one we experienced earlier this year or even in late 2022 when 30 tip will be equal to $290 per share. If you want to give it a P of 27, you could say that by 2030 after taking into account all the splits, $302 will be per share if there isn't any significant innovation that could push Tesla stock to greater heights. Let's see if my prediction that the average price for this ticket will be in the mid 50s as correct. I also believe that during the next decade, the price per share will be in the low 30s. When will I genuinely feel the need for stocks? Let's go back to 23 and set my goals. I'm aiming for a six type of 300 per share. Based on my calculations, the stock price in 2024 will be around 400 with a P of 50. It will likely be approximately 700 with a P of 40 in 2026 compared to 45 in 2025. So if we keep things from being in either a bull market or a bear market, but rather at a base market, I think that either year between 2026 and 2027 could see the first announcement of a stock split. So yeah. Around here, around 26 and about a two and a half trillion market cap. They were probably a stock split. I'm banking on Tesla to split its shares at least twice more this decade and twice more in 2030, depending on growth in the positive case. One thing I do know is that if the firm splits its stock around these values, about two to 300, it will probably not be the last time in the long run. Uh, the next time I'll split stocks will be when the stock hits between $500 and $600 per share which could happen at the end of this decade or perhaps in the early years of the 2030s. Tesla could split its shares as early as the following year, 2024, most likely at the end of 2024, but I think this is extremely unlikely. I genuinely believe that 2026 uh, is the sweet spot. Although stock splits are always difficult to predict, it makes sense that Tesla would want to keep its stock price at three figures since that keeps the shares accessible to the average person. I see how well uh, this prediction plays out in the years ahead, but I think it will hold its ground well. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.